That's a great way to start a video. Mr. Chair. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Any Bassing. Today we've got a little special episode for you. I'm going to do an unboxing of the Lucky Tackle Box, the XL Box. Um, the difference between this and the regular uh, box is you get, I think it's one extra bait. And it sometimes varies. Like if you get a package of soft, soft plastics, it'll come with, instead of three, it'll come with maybe, I don't know, six. So it'll double it, give you a full package. So let's dig into this and see what we've got this month. Oh, and this is the November month. Lucky Tackle Box XL for bass. So we've got the magazine to show all of our how much our baits are, what the baits are, and then it also shows the other boxes that you can purchase. Uh, salt water, salt water. And multi species walleye, fly fishing, and I do a little bit of fly fishing myself. I've actually got a fly rod right here. So, my dad, my dad's really into fly fishing as well. Then we got the Bass XL box, like what I've got here. It's not all of our baits. Then we've got panfish, trout, and then in the very front, like in the very front, is the regular bass box. Alrighty, let's see what we have first on the list. First on our list, we have the Duo International G Fix Spin Bait 80, which is this right here. You can see that or not. I'll open that up for you. This bait is a suspending bait that obviously gives off some real nice vibrations for those suspended fish. There we go. And it's got, let's see, it's got really good hooks on it, real sticky hooks. It's got a blade here, got a blade here, and inside, I don't know if you can see how clear that is, but it's got a weight here, it's got a weight here, so I'm assuming it sits like this. Yeah, so great, good for fall, good for uh, summer time as well. So that'll be great bait for pretty much year round. And this bait was thirteen ninety nine, and I will link all of the baits in this box down below in the description. Um, so you can go check them out there if you want to go get some, and I will link the LTB website down there as well. So our next bait on our list is the Castaic Boyd Ducket Series. This is the uh, soft square bill. It's a black chartreuse gold with some red dots on it. It's got an orange tip. That'll be real good too. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, let's see. The one that I got here dies two to four feet. This is the BD1 5S and the other one that dives deeper is the BD2 5S which is 2 to 5. This is 2 to 4. So let's get this out. Alrighty, well I've heard about these baits. I've never actually gotten one or seen one but it's actually a soft crankbait. I need to squeeze it. It's got a little plastic bill on the front. This will probably make it easier for if it's like bouncing off rocks and stuff maybe not break as easily. Or because it's thinner plastic, it'll break easier. I don't know. And a little suspending bait, and then obviously some wiggling action. And there's a what looks like a piece of lead in the bottom there to help it suspend a little bit better. Um, let's see. Oh, so the hollow body soft plastics is actually easier to put scent on. It actually lasts longer. And the longer it lasts, or the more scent it has, the longer the bass are going to hold on. So that's a good, it's a good idea for this. The next thing on our list is the Bagley Bait Co. Red Lipless Crimp Bait. 
There you go. It's uh, what looks to be like a craw color. It's actually like a craw painted color. It's got. Let's just get it out and I'll show you. Come on. These hooks are real sticky as well. Ouch. That hurts. There you go. Painted exactly like a craw. Got some, some serious rattles. Got some really good hooks on there too. Alrighty. Oh, and that last mate, that cast egg, was about ten dollars. So, um, this little crankbait here, this will do real well. When we were out at Two Rivers uh, last weekend, we used lipless crankbaits almost the entire weekend. Lipless crankbaits, square bills. It was a crankbait kind of weekend, and we caught a ton of fish on these red ones. I actually, when I got one at Walmart in the part one of our video, I'll put that in the description. Um, I got that, and then on day two, I actually lost this doing the lipless crankbait challenge, which kind of sucks because it was like ten dollars. But got another one to replace it, so it's real nice. Um, this is actually this is seven ninety nine, so eight dollars. Next on our list is the Castaic. Boy Ducket Series swim baits. It is a four-inch soft plastic swim bait. Out for you. These are unscented. Or at least they smell unscented. Maybe they're not. But it's got some serious action on there. It's a real paddle tail. Catch some real good fish there. And this is actually a three-pack. I think this is a full pack. I'm not entirely sure. But this is $5.40. So, real good for the year round as well. A really good moving base. Alright, next on our list is the Mustad Treble Hooks. Now, Mustad is an amazing company when it comes to treble or just hooks in general. They are. They tend to be really sharp. They last for forever. Their sharpness. I don't think I've ever had to replace a Mustad hook in my 18 years of fishing. And um, in the previous month, I got no two months ago. I got an LTB and I actually got some four out Mustad hooks, and I love them. They, they came with barrel swivels and everything, so they're really good. I can switch some of my dull ones out for these, and I think they actually come in three different sizes, size two, three, and four. So, be really good there. Next on our list is the Outcast Tackle Wobble Jig, jig Head. Now, I don't know exactly how to use this. All I know is that you clip it onto your hook, you clip it onto your line, and it helps with bumping across the rocks, putting on a vibration, giving it some more action. So we'll definitely tie that on to something. I don't know what. We'll figure it out eventually. But this was three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Those must have hooks were three ninety nine as well. And the last but not least on our list is the Cabin Creek Green Pumpkin Blue Copper Craw. But this would be really good for uh, fall fishing with all the different like flakes flex in it, the green pumpkin. It's actually be a really good year round bait. So I'm excited to try those. Let's put all this back in here. Uh, winter is finally found its way around Nebraska. And the fishing is about to get real tough. So we won't be doing as much fishing during the winter as we'd like. Maybe at, like one special like ice fishing video or something. Go out to some lake and draw a hole and catch some biggins. But if we're not doing that, we need to keep the uploads. We need to grow the channel. So we're going to do a lot of unboxings. We're going to do a lot of demonstrations. We're going to show you how to fish some types of baits, when to use them, what like time of year is best to use them. So keep, look forward to that. And if you guys have anything like you would like to see on the channel, any suggestions, make sure to like subscribe comment comment everything you want below anything you want tell us and if we like you we'll do it so 
Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to fish on.